Yes, hi. Hi, I'm Aris. Aris Ignacio. I am currently a, an academician at, a, at in a university in the Philippines. And uh, I am concentrating more on um, ICT-related activities, most specifically in the field of education and cybersecurity and also, you know, some other things that relate to technology that might interest a lot of students. Oh, one of the sessions that I participated that it is really very, very intriguing is the one of cybersecurity skills, uh, wherein they presented the report where there's really a gap with regards to the skills of students who are graduating and from the skills that are needed by the industry with regards to cybersecurity. And more often than not, there is really a need for us to close the gap so that you know, we would be able to have good cyber security professionals in the future. Oh, one thing is that networking is really a very good way to look at it. It's, you know, it, you can never go wrong with networking because networking can lead you to a lot of things. It can lead you to, to collaboration in projects that can also create impact within the future of you know the country even the youth or anything that would interest each and every one of us oh wow that's a difficult question but uh, when you are talking about what kind of policies are those uh, i would like to emphasize really more on um, making awareness in each and every topic that is being discussed here awareness with regards to cybersecurity because you know a lot of people especially policymakers don't really have an idea what cybersecurity is in the first place <laughs> and when we talk about the use of ai ai is just you know becoming a jargon already and that jargon must be dig deeper for us to be able to understand it further so these policymakers will also understand it as we explain it to them if we are in that specific um, stage we're in. For example, if we are a technical person, we can explain it to them more clearly. Oh, wow. Um, let's put it this way. That's, that's tough. Actually, the, what leads us to the future? It's, we all know the technologies are all here, but maybe jobs within the next 5, 10, 15 years, we are, we are really clueless on what would be those particular jobs. And I think we really need to, to lay out the foundation, uh, moving towards the future and creating policies that may lead also to those future jobs so that each and every member or future students would be able to, uh, as much as possible, you know, take those jobs and will be able to understand those technologies in the future also. Well, I'm an, I'm an advocacy of the youth. <laughs> I would love the youth to be on the table, to be part of the discussion. I have been bringing the youth uh, in different conferences, in different forums, uh, for them to be involved, for them to be aware that there is such things, such as the IGF, that exi they exist and they want them to be part of it. And once they got this idea already, it's really up to them to formulate their own path. And hopefully they will be able to take that road. Oh, wow. Um, Maybe a more clear policy on certain technologies. That is one thing that I expect it to be. Maybe some frameworks that maybe countries would be able to follow in order for them to, to improve their way of living and maybe improve their economic status. And some of which that will help every individual within our world to make this world a better place to live in.